Welcome back to Decentralized News. So a quick update here. I'm just talking about the DTCC, which is the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, which is a saying that uh, they're now turning to blockchain to settle transactions. OK, so the Clearing and Settlement uh, House Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation has launched a private and permissioned uh, blockchain network as an alternative settlement platform. And uh, they are calling this project Iron, which leverages uh, DLT now processing 100,000 bilateral equity transactions per day, according to the statement that they just put out recently. They said that the goal of Project Iron is to ultimately provide a resilient, secure, and scalable alternative settlement to clients uh, with the option to leverage DLT for those firms who wish to take an advantage of the emerging technology. They say uh, DLT provides a safer, cheaper and a more efficient alternative to traditional settlement methods according to uh, Mare Pansmanta, uh, Posmanta rather. So Posmanta is the MD and president of uh, DTCC uh, clearing agency services and head of uh, their global business operations as well. And uh, we've seen other settlement uh, efforts being made. So there was a uh, DLT um, a record of uh, transactions uh, held between a network of computers and nodes of course uh, that is uh, what you would expect with any distributed ledger technology in terms of uh, what it delivers so the use of dlt generally relies on uh, cryptography of course to allow nodes to securely propose validate and uh, record changes and updates in uh, pretty much synchronized uh, ledger without necessarily uh, having a central authority and uh, researchers from um, BIS said that uh, DLT and tokenization of securities could actually transform post-trade clearing and settlement operations by the inherent challenges of uh, credit risk and uh, liquidity associated with uh, traditional methods remains the same. So to succeed, tokens will need to remain interoperate, meaning that they will need to have uh, interoperability with account-based systems, at least in the interim, according to some researchers. And they are saying that, uh, you know, uh, financial institutions have now become increasingly interested in DLT in uh, recent years for trading and for settlements as well. And uh, in 2020, we saw Credit Suisse definitely announcing that they were also launching a DLT-based platform for investment funds. But uh, if you want to know more about DLTs, especially as far as uh, some of these use cases, I have outlined them in depth in my book, Blockchain Applied. So you can uh, head on over to the links in the description. You can find that if you want to know more about asset tokenization on the blockchain using distributed ledgers, especially when it comes to tokenizing equities and real estate and other assets that are in the real world, then you can also check out tokenized trillions and uh, also go to our Telegram and our Discord server. Don't forget to share and like and uh, also subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Until next time, guys, peace and love and if you want to know what my favorite trading platform currently is btse and uh, the link is also in the description and you can get uh, pretty much lifetime referral revenues as well if uh, uh, you are using bitc so support me and uh, use a reliable exchange go and check out the reviews that are independent out there for yourself if you have any questions or any doubts about how legitimate the platform is and uh, until next time guys peace i'll see you soon